Andy Smiley, the Friendly Podcast Guide. I help moms find podcasts for themselves and their kids that are a good fit for them. Some of my episodes talk about a specific podcast to help you decide if it's your next favorite podcast. But today's episode is a little different, and I can't wait for you to hear it. As a self-proclaimed podcast lover, it always makes me so happy to find other people that love podcasts as much as I do. One of those people is Whitney Archibald. She's the host of the How She Moms and Why Magazine podcasts. She's a mom of five kids and a proud podcast listener for almost two decades. And she is the perfect person to chat with on this first of a new type of episodes. I know that my taste in podcasts isn't the same as everyone else's. So for a while, I've been trying to figure out how to get other people's favorite podcasts on my show. And thus, this new type of episode was born. I chat with fellow podcasters and other interesting people about their three favorite podcasts so that you have even more podcasts to choose from. Whitney couldn't pick just three overall favorite podcasts, so she decided to skirt the rules a bit and talk about her three favorite narrative podcasts. Before we get to hear about those podcasts, we're going to take a quick break to talk about my podcast consultations. I've been able to talk to some amazing podcasters about their shows while doing interviews for the Friendly Podcast Guide. And along the way, I've learned so many tips and tricks on how to start a podcast from the hosts I've interviewed and from personal experience. I've talked to podcast hosts about what made their launch successful and what made it more difficult, and I for sure know what I would do differently if I could go back and launch my show again. And I want to share my knowledge with you. That's why I'm offering podcast consults, and I have a couple of spots open in the next month. If you need help nailing down your podcast idea, figuring out your niche, or you have any other podcast questions, I would love to work with you to make your show's launch the best it can be. If you're interested in working with me, fill out the intake form in the show notes. I can't wait to make a podcast plan that is tailored to you and your podcast and will make your launch as smooth and successful as possible. So this episode is actually Whitney's second time on the Friendly Podcast Guide. The first time is when we talked all about her podcast, How She Moms. I'll link it in the show notes. I highly recommend listening to that episode, especially if you're trying to get a handle on some part of running a household, or if you just want to hear about all the interesting ways different moms tackle the same problems. Okay, here's my chat with Whitney about her favorite narrative podcasts. Whitney, thank you so much for being on the show for the second time. I cannot wait to hear your recommendations. But first, can you introduce yourself a little bit to my listeners that may not have been here since the very beginning when you were first on the podcast? (laughs) Sure. Yeah, I am Whitney Archibald, and I'm a podcast junkie. (laughs) I've been um, listening to podcasts for at least 17 years, which, um, you know, they were just kind of barely there back then. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, But really, as soon as I started, as soon as I had my first baby, they were my lifeline and uh, my adult company. So definitely. uh, So eventually I started two podcasts of my own. So I'm um, the host of the How She Moms podcast, which is um, basically about um, all things caregiving and home management. And I interviewed lots of different moms about the same topic and and I give a menu of options. And then um, I also recently became the host of the Y Magazine podcast, a podcast for BYU alumni. Awesome. Good for you. Two podcasts. You, you're you just a podcast rock star as well as a podcast junkie. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> so let's just dive right in. I know that you have a certain type of podcast that you're recommending today because you have too many favorites. Is that right? Yes. It was impossible to like you know, just pick three favorites. So (laughs) yeah, I have loved narrative form podcasts um, since the beginning, probably because I grew up on um, This American Life, really, like the the kind of original narrative podcast um, started on public radio. And I just love the narrative form in podcasts. Totally. Okay. Then let's dive in. What is your first narrative podcast recommendation for us? Okay, so the first one, um, I'm actually going to start with one of the newest ones that I've come to. And um, I have fallen in love with Articles of Interest by Mm -hmm. Avery Truffleman. Avery Truffleman is a master. She's one of my mentors in podcasting. She's so good at telling a story, making it 
sound like you're just in a room having a conversation with her, but also really getting to the kernel of the story and making you think. So Articles of Interest is actually about the fashion industry mostly. Um, I think, oh, I should have checked this, uh, how many seasons. There's at least three, but I think maybe we're in the fourth season. I just started the fourth season. And, um, you know, some podcasts kind of peter out as they get later on, but I just think (laughs) Mm -hmm. hers is getting stronger and stronger. It is so good. There are things like episodes on the history of pockets, blue jeans, punk style, um, mannequins, point shoes, like all sorts of different tiny um, pieces of clothing. And she'll dive into the history of them. It's fascinating. She makes any topic interesting, but these these are pretty inherently interesting topics too. Um, so she she grew up with in um, she was part of ninety nine percent invisible, which is another fabulous oh. podcast, mm-hmm. and so that's where she was trained. And she is just a master, and I love everything that she puts out. So that's my first recommendation. That sounds so fascinating. I love I love a podcast that will dive into something that maybe you haven't really thought about before, but has yeah. such a rich history. So those are my favorite because then I have all of this, like, but all these fun, like factoids that I can pull out of parties, right? Like, did you know that pockets were invented yeah. because of blah, blah, blah. Like, and that is exactly how I've used this podcast. I have pulled <laughs> out so many like bits of trivia and it, it's so fun. So the interesting thing to me is that I am not a fashionista. I'm like not that inherently interested in the fashion industry, but now I am because of this podcast. <laughs> and that's to me as a sign of a great podcast that definitely sparks your interest where you didn't know you had any. Totally. Totally. Okay. That is a fabulous first recommendation. What is your next recommendation? The next one is my all-time favorite um short series, like mini series, I guess, podcast mm-hmm. mini series. Um, it's Dolly Parton's America. And oh, it's a good one. Yes. I adore Dolly Parton. She's just amazing. But I had no idea like the greater impact that she has had on the world. And well, specifically America. It is called Dolly Parton's America. So it's actually based on a a class that um, a university class, and I should have looked up which university, but um, that's what sparked it in the first place. But um, the host is Jad Abumrad from Radiolab, which another one of my all-time favorite classic. Um, he and Robert Krolwich on Radiolab are just golden. Like that partnership is the best co-hosting that I've ever, ever heard in my life. I love those two guys. But anyway, Jad did a spinoff. Um, I'm not a spinoff of Radiolab, but he did this, this series um, independent of Radiolab. And um, he just dives into everything Dolly Parton, her history, um, the meaning of her songs, the impact that she's had on feminism the story about how she came to write I Will Always Love You just gives me chills to think about it because she it's just a story of forgiveness and unconditional love when she was treated pretty terribly. Um, anyway, just listen to this. It is masterful. The sound quality, the storytelling, everything about this just you won't want to do anything else. I've listened to it twice and I probably am due for a third. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I completely agree. And this is a really good one. If you've got a road trip coming up, this is a yes. good one to just listen to the whole thing on a road trip. And yeah, like you said, beautifully produced. I completely agree. And her music is woven throughout. Yes. Like, oh, it's such a good, I'm literally getting chills from thinking about it. Me too, it. <laughs> me too. So obviously oh, you so have to good. listen. <laughs> yes, definitely. That one needs to happen soon if you haven't already or you can be like Whitney and listen again because I I think I'm due for a re-listen as well yeah now that I yeah, think I'll go it. back and back to this one it's so good totally oh such a good recommendation okay and your third one what's your last recommendation for us today my third one is heavyweight I adore Jonathan Goldstein I learned about him way back in uh, the early days of this American life. He was a he was a frequent guest on that. Then he did Wiretap, which is ridiculous and crazy and fun. But then his most recent one, which I just found out they're working on another season, which I'm so glad, is Heavyweight. This is one you could really dive in anywhere. 
Um, I have a couple favorite episodes I may recommend, but um, he just, he goes back and tries to resolve things in people's past. So Mm -hmm. this is, um, this can be anything from like reuniting family members or finding an old babysitter that you really loved (laughs) or um, there's one about his friend who loaned the the singer Moby some CDs and wanted to find out if he still had those CDs that he could get back. <laughs> you know, like they're just kind of, some of them are funny. Some of them are um, kind of poignant. They, they all kind of have that. He's really good at pulling meaning out of any of these stories, but, but he's just kind of resolving things. And um, he's such a good storyteller. He's so funny. He has this dry sense of humor Um beautiful writer and yeah the um the ones i recommend to start with are episode 24 jimmy and mark um about this 240 mile bike ride for these 10 year old boys and they (laughs) it was amazing one of the boys was looking for the other two boys he went with and so that they could talk about like it's like did we really do this nobody believes us but we did it (laughs) anyway that was a good one um even the very first episode where he reunites his father with his estranged brother. There, there is um, a little bit of language, but overall the content message is clean. Um, it's just beautiful, uh, beautiful reunions mostly and masterful production and writing. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of my partner's very, very favorite podcasts. So we, we, we have definitely Dove in, that feels wrong. Dived. We love <laughs> yeah. we we dive into this podcast often. And yeah, it is such a, just a heartwarming, yes, solid podcast when you want like a pick me up, but like in a soulful way. It's not yeah. exactly light, but you usually feel happy at the end. Yeah. And there's so much variety. I always love that in a podcast. You never know what you're gonna get with these stories. I mean, one was about breaking the family curse. Like <laughs> they're just <laughs> They're just delightful and so funny, but but um, not in an in your face kind of way. Just just beautiful celebration of life. Definitely, that's a great definition. Okay, so let's recap your three recommendations for anyone who is dying to have a narrative podcast in their life. Can you tell me those three one more time, just to wrap up? Yep, articles of interest by Avery Treffelman. Dolly Parton's America by Jad Abumrad and Heavyweight by Jonathan Goldstein. Perfect. I am going to put all of the links to all of the things that Whitney talked about in the show notes so that you can go directly where you want to. And thank you so much for being here, Whitney. Your recommendations are always golden because you are a podcast guru. And I am so, <laughs> I'm so glad you got to be on the show today. And I can't wait to, I haven't listened to your first one, articles. Wait, what was it? Uh, articles of interest. Yeah. Articles of interest. And I'm so excited to dive in. So yeah. thank you so much. And I can't wait for all of my listeners to listen to them too. Yeah. Happy listening. Aren't all of those suggestions so good? I've already downloaded several episodes from Articles of Interest, and I'm so excited to listen to these on an upcoming road trip that I've got. Also, don't forget, if you have the itch to start a podcast but need some help that's tailored to you and your show, fill out the form in the show notes so I can help you make your podcast the best it can be. Talk to you soon. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you're the first one I've ever done like this. So thanks for being a guinea pig. <laughs>